Hmm, this is a great cigar. It really is. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Cigar TV. I'm Carter Mayer. Got my expert here, Spencer. Hey. And Spencer, so what kind of a gadget are we uh, reviewing today? Basically, you have here is a Prometheus V cutter. Okay. It is a solid piece of Japanese milled steel, which Japanese steel is very good for this sort of thing. And it is assembled in Korea by Prometheus. All right, and uh, that's an unusual uh, V cutter. I don't usually see them to where you just pull the uh, cutter up with a V cutter. Usually it's like spring operated. Yeah, this one is not. This is more of you use it. The blade is really, 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 really sharp. Much more so than the ones you get on Calibri and the others. Mm -hmm. This is in Zycar, this is razor sharp. So you definitely want to try to keep your fingers away from this thing or you're gonna cut your goddamn finger off. Alright, alright. So that's pretty nice. And you said it was a solid solid mill Japanese steel. Nice. It's a it's easy to take apart too with the screws if you need to take it on undo it to clean it. All right, indeed. Very, very, very easy to disassemble and reassemble. Yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, feature on the bottom with the uh, cutout so the pieces fall out. Yeah, I, I really like that. That's really what drew it, drew me to it. I was fortunate enough to get it on sale. They usually retail at ninety nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. which does seem steep, but if you want an accessory that's going to last a while, Cody, and you want a V-cutter that's going to last, that is definitely one I would recommend. All right. So, how well do you say that it would uh, cut through a, a cigar? Extremely well. You mind if we did, like, a testing cut so Not the fans all. could see? Go for it. All right. So, like you said, it... You operate it yourself? You really need two hands to operate it. That's the only thing about it. Okay. But that's with most cutters. Yeah, indeed. So with this one, there's no spring. You just uh, pull it up off the uh, base here. You got this nice ringlet right here, so I guess you could like just hold it there while yeah. you're positioning your cigar. Or you cigar put it on a keychain or... if you really want to. You can put something around it and put it on a keychain. Yeah, probably something like thin, like rope or something. Yeah. So, uh, right here, we got a, uh, one of their house sticks. Uh, so we're going to test it out on it and see how well it cuts and go from there. Let's do it. So, with any V cutter, of course, you got like that divot there, right there, with the uh, V. That one's especially shiny. Very shiny. So, yeah. And boom. Man, that cuts like butter. It really does. And the cool thing is you can get, the, it holds the tobacco like that so it doesn't go everywhere. It cuts just right enough out of the cap, but it's a, it's a deep, quick cut. Yeah, I mean. Which is interesting, and it's, it's. Look at that sliver. Very smooth, very clean cut. And, very uh, clean. look at that. That's like, hella clean. Not too deep, but just right. Absolutely. So, uh, price point you said was about ninety nine dollars. Yeah, right at a hundred bucks. I mean, right. some people are going to complain and say it's not worth it. It's too damn expensive. I don't want to pay for that shit. But the good thing about it is it lasts. I've already had mine a couple months. I haven't had any issues. I have a hard time getting the damn thing dirty. Yeah. Okay. You like to uh, put your equipment through a kind of like a hell test. Yeah, and the Calibri, the problem is the Calibri's got a little slot down there, and I love the Calibri. I'm not going to knock it. They upgraded their steel from 420 stainless to 440. However, that is Chinese steel. It is going to break eventually, and it's got a little button there. Well, the problem is where the cutter goes down in here and it's spring-loaded, tobacco pieces get trapped in there, and they get sticky. So you have to get a little pen, straight pen or something, and you have to take every little piece out, and you have to shape the thing. Yeah, and with, with this, this you one, don't have it to. It just falls out the bottom. This design to me is better, and it's better steel, but you're going to pay twice, probably a little more than twice as much. Mm -hmm. I feel like you get a better quality cutter. Yeah, because it. I like how they did like that hollow inside there. 
if you can see the light passing through. It's very cool. And uh, I like the fact that you won't get tobacco stuck up in the cutter like you would with some other V cutters. That's a pretty nice cutter there, Spencer. Yeah, I, I would encourage anybody who doesn't mind spending on a good cutter, V cutter, and they don't want to keep buying them and buying them, that's the way to go. And it that blade, this blade could be sharp. Unlike some of the others, that blade can be sharpened if it needs to be. Yeah, because you can take it apart. Thing is, it's going to be a long time before that needs to be sharpened. I'm looking at maybe a year or more. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty smooth when you go to open it up, too. Very much so. So, yeah. So, Prometheus V-Cutter. Uh, you said that it was, like, the only model of V-Cutters that they make? Yeah, they make it They make it in a more kind of a blacker color than this. This is just a regular chrome. Mm -hmm. They make it in a darker chrome, too, which is really cool. And I like this, too, because if you accidentally press down your fingers here, it won't go through your finger. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's kind of, it's kind of a little bit of a safety net here. So, that, that's what we're looking at. Very nice. It is heavy. It, you will feel it in your pocket more than you would the Calibri. Yeah, it's a nice rate to it. I like it. I like my cigar cutters. If you drop be, it, uh, you don't really have to worry about it breaking. Yeah. Is there is no, there's zero plastic on it. So, have you dropped this one yet? Multiple times. Multiple times? Uh, see, not everybody's perfect. We all drop our I end up doing more damage to the floor than that. Well, there you go. So, Prometheus V-Cutter, very nice, very shiny. Thank you for letting us do a review on this cutter, Spencer. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the V-Cutter. So, please like and subscribe down below. Please leave a comment uh, suggesting future videos like uh, cigar brands, gadgets, tips and tricks, because we're always looking for something fun to do. Indeed. And uh, until next time, guys, stay smoking.